All right. Hello, hello. So this video is going to be going over this piece of code um, that encrypts, decrypts, and you can also fill um, text files. It's a very basic piece of code, but it's kind of cool. And uh, I wanted to have something like this. That way I can just kind of have some cool encrypted stuff on my PC. But very basic and it's very easy to crack, but it's, it's a cool basic project for C++. So uh, let's run it first and show what it does. So our options are to fill the diary, to encrypt and decrypt. Right now, obviously, we should probably fill the diary first, kind of in order. For, we'll call the file cody.txt. So we'll type, let's do hello. I will do dear diary, comma. We'll end the line. It doesn't matter. Like D. We'll say this is Cody. I demo this program for two. And we will end. So we can go to the file. Now we have this. Kind of neat. So let's go ahead and encrypt this. Make the key six. Let's go take a look. You see we have gibberish. So our key was six. We'll go ahead and decode this. Key was six. We have decrypt your diary. This video, I'm him. I'm him. YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Cool. So that's the program running. So let's go ahead and break this down. Um, first of all, I'd like to say this code is um, partially from this site uh, right here. I did change uh, some of it and implement it differently. I also wanted the data to be private truly private so i made a private class so um let's get back to it just wanted to put that in there so first we have a class encode decode.h i just called it in deck and the node encode decode kind of mash together um dot h so we have our get and set for these variables get and set get and set and the variables we have are the file Character C and the key. We have encrypt, func uh, encrypt function and decrypt fill diary. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So we'll do the fill diary first. Um, this is a, one of the things I added. So first we ask the user for the file name. We get it. We also have a variable text. This gets used below. So we open up an outstream. Uh, open up the file that we you know we got from the user. And then we start a loop and we get line and we output after each thing and we do x to end and otherwise to continue and you continue the loop and that's the logic for it. it's pretty basic afterwards you close it that's just this is really basic it's just basically filling up a diary so we'll get encode now so first we get the file name and we get the key and then we go ahead we have an fn and an fl and an fn we go ahead and we open up the file. We open up the um, we open up encrypt.txt, which is a new file, and then we go ahead and we read in from our old file, and we read in um, basically all of this, and then the key is here. So this is where the key is important. So temp gets created from the character plus a key, which makes it look like gibberish. And then we output this new um, integer as a character, which creates a gibberish character. Uh, so that's how that works. But afterwards, we close. This is the encryption. It's just adding basically um, from a character, we are adding a number to it, which creates gibberish because you can't add those two data types. So we're putting that into an integer. And then we're outputting it as a character. So it creates gibberish, but this can easily be decoded with the key. So in the decrypt, we do the same thing, but we do the reverse. 
see we go ahead and we do the c minus the key the f out of it that's how that works so it's um pretty neat uh and i mean that's all there is to it if we go back to main we just have our options switch case one we call the fill diary case two we call encrypt case three we call decrypt it's a really basic piece of code kind of neat this could be done the same way that the website I had pulled up does. They just have it all in one file. They have a class up here, but I prefer having my classes actually in there at each files. This is something we can build off of and add more stuff to. But for now, let's just fill a diary. Make it a uh, demo.txt. Um, programming. Oh, and we'll do this. Nuclear codes. And we'll end. Go ahead and encrypt this. And we'll make it nine. Take a look at this. Okay, try to decrypt this. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Yes. Yeah, you know the encrypted version here. So if we really want to, what we could do is um we could just delete this after we encrypt, and then we just have the encrypt to decrypt it. We could do that and then we remake our diary or whatever. Pretty cool. Uh might add some more to this, but as of now, I'm happy with how it is. It's a very, very basic piece of code. It took maybe fifteen minutes to set this up. Um so that's it. I uh, just wanted to make a video on it because I like to have videos on all of the code I do, whether it's extremely simple, extremely complex, whether it took me five minutes. I like to have a video explaining it. So uh, that's it for this one. I'm going to go ahead and post this, put it on the GitHub. And, uh, yep, feel free to use this. Uh, credit to Geeks for. Um, I'm not sure the actual name of the website. I had it pulled up earlier. They didn't. This isn't like their code, but. A lot of this implementation is based off of that website's um, code just to make it easier. So, uh, that's all. God bless. Uh, peace out, guys.